How's it going everybody? Dstash here, and today we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite, specifically the exciting future of Halo Infinite Season 4, which is rumored to contain AI. Now, I've been pretty quiet on Halo Infinite for the longest time now, and I'm just going to be honest, I just got kind of tired of Halo for a little bit. It just felt like there was disappointment out of disappointments, uh, false promises, and honestly, it's something that I didn't want to make content on because I wasn't passionate about it. Now, Halo Infinite is by no means in a great state today. I mean, it still has plenty of issues, especially the desync, which has plagued the game since day one. But I am excited about AI because AI is something that I've wanted ever since Halo Reach, and the fact that we're finally going to be getting it potentially is really exciting. So. I just wanted to take this time to talk about my hopes for what they could do with AI, both in Forge and in PvE modes, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, a big inspiration for why I'm making this video is actually the new UEFN uh, tool that they had just added to Fortnite. Um, and basically, if you haven't heard about it, it's basically unleashing the tools of Unreal Engine for Fortnite creatives, where you can kind of import assets from Unreal Engine that you create and you can kind of use them in Fortnite and kind of fuse it um, basically different Unreal Engine projects with Fortnite. Uh, look no further than like the Mist Forest I believe it was called. Um, probably getting that wrong but a lot of uh, really interesting stuff coming out of Fortnite lately and now I don't think Halo is gonna get to this point frankly probably ever. Um, unless they let us use a lot of those modding tools they've been creating for PC um, on console. But what I'd really love to see from UEFN is the importing of audio into the game engine. Now, at first this may seem like a very minor feature that I would want in Halo Infinite, but just think of the possibilities of importing audio to Halo, especially with AI and Forge. You could create single player experiences and actually have them be voice acted. And this could even lead into the wider Machinima audience where it could be an evolution of Machinima. I mean, we've seen Red vs. Blue, but imagine if you could play it. Imagine a new age of Machinima um, where you can play through like Red vs. Blue or play through uh, different uh, scenarios that the community creates. I think that that'd be really cool and open a lot of doors for people who are looking to getting in, into storytelling um, but don't necessarily know where to start, I think that could be a big opportunity. Now another thing that I'd really like to see is linked levels. Um, a game that did this was actually Doom 2016. In that game it had the snap map editor where you cr could create missions and then each mission could lead into the next. And for crafting a campaign experience, I feel like this tool would be invaluable for people telling a longer story. Because obviously there's going to be budgeting within Forge like there is already. And being able to strain together different projects with loading screens, just like a campaign, um, would allow creators to continue their experience past the boundaries of what 343 has set up, which is understandable. Now, if we continue down that line of thought, another thing that could be interesting, which I don't know if 343 could execute it just because theater's already pretty broken, but uh, custom cutscenes would be pretty interesting. Maybe nothing with mocap. I mean, if they didn't botch the Kinect launch, maybe we could have mocap for a console. Um, but at this rate, I would say it'd be cool if we could just have a panning camera or camera movements. Uh, that way, to introduce different sections of a new level, or even pre-record like gameplay segments like Theater Mode already does where we could control uh, Spartans in a cutscene. Um, now while Theater Mode does have desync issues, uh, if they ever fixed it, you could actually use Theater Mode to make cutscenes, so you could actually blend the traditional concept of a machinima, that being just watching it, uh, with the playing part, and I think that that could be something that is not only a new thing for Halo, but could be revolutionary for the gaming industry and the machinima creators. And with this introduction of Halo Infinite AI in Forge, I mean, we could really see a resurgence of the community, at least in the machinima space. And I feel like 
That's something that Halo could feel the niche of. I mean, we have things like Roblox with user-created content, Fortnite Creative, but there aren't really big avenues for individuals to create narrative experiences for players, and I feel like that's something that the gaming industry has kind of had a blind eye on. I think that Halo Infinite could fill that void and really give a lot of credence to why Halo is so special. But those are just my thoughts. I'd love you to sound off in the comments and give me your thoughts. What do you think Halo's future is? Do you think it should be in the narrative space of user-created content? Or would you just like it to keep it to basics and keep going with other modes like Firefight? I'd love to hear your comments, and I'll see you in the next one. d out.